pull, 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 Hey everyone, welcome to another video update for Treasure Reef. Um, today we're going to do something quite special. We're going to do a top-down overview of all of the corals in the tank, so stay tuned. Uh, but just before that, uh, I want to say a couple of words about my previous video. So um, I'm the owner of Aquatic Log, uh, made it free, and uh, the feedback uh, was quite overwhelming. A lot of you actually wrote to me. I got uh, close to 100 uh, personal emails um, thanking me, so I really appreciate it. I've read every single one of them. And I want to say special thanks to um, also a few of you that chose to support uh, uh, Aquatic Log on um, uh, PayPal. So there's a link uh, below. So big thanks to uh, Vivid Creative Aquatics, uh, DJ Dean, um, River 2000 SG, as well as John Tolva. All of you um, chose to support me and um, I just want to say uh, thank you. So back to Treasure Reef. Uh, we're going to do a video overview. Uh, the tank is running um, two new Hydra 64 HDs on my right side and two of 52 HDs um, on the left side. So they've been running like this for a couple of weeks now. So I don't really see much of a difference, but when you are looking at the corals, uh, pay some attention to that and maybe you'll see, you'll see some differences in uh, color of the corals. So, without further ado, here's the uh, video. Well, let's uh, take a look at some of the corals. Uh, some of them have retracted as these uh, green star polyps uh, at the bottom, but uh, most of them are looking quite nice. Uh, this is the favia, uh, the, uh, the disc coral and um, one of my leather corals has actually retracted right now. Uh, this favia at the bottom is bleaching a little bit uh, so I'm gonna have to move it um, and you can see the growth on some of the other corals. This is the purple valida, one of my favorite corals. I absolutely uh, love it. Some of the frags I got from the local reefers. Um, so, uh, shout out to Andrew and uh, Dan. So, we got the orange citosa at the bottom. We've got uh, Superman Monty um, at the bottom here as well, and uh, beautiful frog spawn here. Um, this is the purple leopard. Right now it's uh, all the way at the bottom so the color is a little bit different and now we're focusing on the red planet. I've just added it to the tank. This pink Cadillac was almost fully bleached. Now it's coming back. We've got a bonsai in the middle here. This is a combo of a Monty, the Darth Maul and a few other corals. Um, I'm starting to uh, forget a lot of those names uh, now. I'm, I'm just only focusing on the color at the moment. Um, a few more corals. This uh, Duncan at the bottom is not doing very well for some reason. The um, red dragon has grown a lot as you can see. And I think this is a Mountain Dew. We've got another red planet which is not doing very well for some reason. Um, I think it's another Valida and this is the Rainbow Acro. Um, so it's doing excellent. A few more Acros over here. And take a look at the Favia all the way uh, in the lower right corner. So we'll come back to it but the color is not great on it and I don't know what's causing uh, this particular issue. So this part of the tank is being lit by sun and I absolutely love the green star polyps here. It's still one of my favorite corals and I absolutely love it. So we're coming back to the favia on the left. So you see all these brown spots. Uh, I don't know what that is. If any of you know what this could be or what could be causing it, I would really appreciate if you can write to me in the comments or just email. Finally, my favorite shot of the day, anemone and a pair of clowns hosting in it. You cannot beat that shot. Definitely one of my favorites. 
So I've had them for quite some time with me and absolutely love that uh, couple. So that's pretty much it. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope uh, you had some fun. I'll try to do a similar video in a few months so that we can actually compare the growth. Uh, but meanwhile, um, happy reefing to all of you.